Offshore it could be day or night because the clouds are always olive drab, as if the army from the 1980s were given full decorative authority. Cold water laps against the shore as we walk in silence. The ocean and the work being done off the coast are our soundtrack. The water is a kind of sloppy syrup that goes with the stink. The smell is some of the garbage and the mass collection of homeless humans calling Venice Beach home. The smell isn't helped by the fact that the city doesn't care anymore to stop the influx of us, the people with nothing. But we didn't make it dirty, not dirty like the Gulf of Mexico is dirty. There, it's dead fish and gunked up seaweed or kelp or whatever that shit is called getting in the way of everything. Maybe a whiff of gas off a boat heading out to fish. Nothing like this. This, this is inhuman and bloomed overnight, industry and all. The dirty water is from the refineries right off the coast. Huge twists of metal and noise that just popped out of the ocean. One day the slate gray ocean, the next the water is green with a sheen of something. And boats and patrols kept people out. They talk about dead bodies, but not the normal dead and rotting human remains. These are melted and are more jello in substance than anything that resembles former meat. We collect little bits of metal the government is giving gift certificates for and stay far out of the water. We've got a whole sand bucket full tonight and are scoping the beach for more. We assume all sludge spied as former living beings. I point. What the fuck do you think those things are doing out there? The boring question. Conversation filler. Because nobody knows. At least nobody sleeping under cardboard tents on the boardwalk any more than what these little metal bobs are either. My companion turns to look, his weird half-melted face crumbles into an even sadder frown, his loose-limbed gait slowing. When he stops, he releases a heavy sigh. I can't help but ask, what's up, amigo? It's my job, playing the friend and all. He's following me. I met him wandering an alley rummaging through trash cans. I told him about the job and he's been holding the sand bucket ever since. Odd dude like if a badly made scarecrow comes to life. When he walks, his arms flop, his head bobs, mouth open. We stand still together, him nervously watching barge after barge leaving the refineries. I know what those refineries are pumping out of the water. His voice is melodic. The words almost sang in a near perfect tenor. I was shocked. Shocked? Maybe not. I was wondering when this would happen when the aliens would start showing up. Just felt like the right time and all, with seemingly the whole world living under the stars already, that the stars would come for a visit and demand we go back to minding our damn business. I can't help myself. I want to see only a doofy garbage rummager and nothing more, and simply ask, what? Expecting it was just another hallucination and decide to play it off cool. My way home. They're stealing it. He turns to me then, and you're going to keep helping me to stop it.